I also learned tonight uh, the critical role that was played by the committee that developed the profile. And I just want to tell you why that was so important. Um, so I want to thank Dr. Levinson and all the members who, who just stood up. About a year and a half ago, uh, I made a decision, a personal decision, to seek a, a different professional opportunity. And I sort of kept my eyes open for different superintendencies. And uh, I read, and I didn't go after any of them, quite actually. I wasn't either impressed or I wasn't overwhelmed by the uh, uh, advertisement or the, the search firm's uh, work that they had put out. And uh, when I saw that Norwalk was seeking a superintendent, first of all, having been from Norwalk and knowing the system as a parent, I knew the potential of the Norwalk public school system. It was a good system. It, I, I chose to come to Norwalk in, uh, in the mid-90s. I had come and visited the community and visited Westport, Wilton, and other, other uh, uh, communities looking for a home. And I chose Norwalk because of its diversity and its schools and moved my family here. And my kids did very, very well, and I'm pleased. And I am an experienced chaperone. I have been on four trips to Hershey Park with the band. <laughs> and, uh, and my favorite, obviously, is uh, collecting garbage at the boat show. <laughs> but, but beyond that, the profile that I read really stood out. Um, and it was, it was very unique. And it was a profile that uh, you, you, could, you could sense and feel the, the undergirding values and the desires of the Norwalk community and what parents were saying and what folks were saying. And uh, it was a call for respect for diversity and uh, it, was a, it was a really a call for excellence as well. And, and I felt, yeah, I, I want to be part of building a school district of excellence within a community of excellence that supports the learning for children. A community where you work in collaboration with your board, you work in collaboration with your stakeholders, uh, parents, teachers, principals, unions, college presidents, uh, business people, people who are going to be part of that, that learning fabric for children. Because you really want to, education is 24-7, and you want to create that excitement, and you want to do as much as, as you can to provide every single child with an opportunity for learning. So I come here with that uh, as, a, as a way in which I will be operating. I'll be operating uh, really and to foster and build a huge culture of collaboration here. Um, over the next 90 days, uh, I'll lay out my plan. My intent is to get out and to meet with a number of leaders, some, many of whom I've met tonight, others that people will, will forward names and phone numbers to me. Uh, so I can become more and more familiar and hear firsthand some of the experiences and some of the desires and some of the hopes and aspirations for the, the Norwalk public school system. And in addition to that, um, I, I had a great opportunity to spend some time with, with Tony Dodona. I'm very fortunate to have someone like him with his institutional knowledge that he brings to, to, work, to work with me. And I think that, that together with he and others, we're going to build a great team and we're going to lead the system to where we want to go. I'm about moving forward, not about moving backwards. And I want to have people working with me, the community working with me, leaders working with me, the state working with us to support us. And I think we can go after some significant foundation dollars to support some of the initiatives that we have in place that, or that we want to put in place. And I'm in, incredibly excited. I will also say, because I read this in one of the newspapers, I'm very steeped in the Common Core. I've spent the last year uh, immersing myself in, in it and uh, really understanding the, the meaning and the implications that it has for teaching. And you know, you're talking about focus and you're talking about depth and you're talking about real student engagement and not just learning content but those habits, those learning habits and, and uh, uh, those are critically important. So the kinds of plan, the plan that I would like to, to work with with, with my fellow stakeholders in this room uh, will be one that will have st strategies, but we will be focused in our efforts and disciplined and do it in a very fiscal, fiscally sound manner, uh, and I'm looking forward to that. I, I think the, the last thing I would say that, that was uh, attached to the first thing that I said is in, in reading this profile, um, you know, it, it, it just for me said for the second time 
this is where you want to be. I, I came here, I applied for the job because I wanted the job. And I gave it my best to make sure that I ended up as your school superintendent. So it's the second time I've wanted to come back to Norwalk. And I just wanted you to know that. Um, and then finally, I will simply say that um, you will never have to question my motives with recommendations that come to you. Because I'm about, very, very honestly and very truly, about doing what's right for children and doing what's right for improving the quality of teaching and learning. And really, just doing what's necessary to pursue the excellence that Norwalk can and should be as a, as a school system. So I'm excited about it, and I want to thank you very much and thank the folks here who developed that great profile that, that rang out to me. So thanks. Okay, thank you.